Hey Wanderers, this is the Wandering Vapor and Brian. Hey Aaron. He's going to be assisting me with the review of the full line of Juice Maniac sent to us by Stephen St. Germain, the owner of Juice Maniac. All juices being reviewed today are 30 PG, 70 VG, and 3 milligram nicotine. Available nicotine levels are 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18. And for being a 70-30 uh, mix, they do have a good vapor production. And a good throw hit. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, the first juice that we're going to be reviewing is Brainstorm. The flavor description is recharge your think muscle with the sweet berry blend. The dripper I'm using today is my Mephesto set up in single coil mode with a parallel 24 gauge uh, running at uh, 0.24 ohms. And I've got a, uh, a dual 24 gauge on a Stellaire with a Dragon Copper mod. And the mod I'm using is the FU Hat Copper. Brainstorm's got a very natural, fruity flavor to it. It's sweet, but it's not overpowering. It, it doesn't taste like it's got a whole lot of sweetener in it, but it's got this sweet note to it, and it leaves a good sweet aftertaste in your mouth. It's, it's not bitter. It's not sour. It's just very natural tasting. It is, it is definitely a very uh, berry flavor, um, but it's, like Clark said, it's a very good, solid juice. It's flavorful, it's not too much, and so it, it really is a juice you could sit there and vape for hours on end. Yeah, I can definitely see that being a whole day vape. <clears throat> so the next juice that we're going to be trying is the Camosis Nebula. And description of this juice is, you know that feeling when you're floating through space? You get a little hungry. So you eat a delicious looking nebula? No? Oh well. The sweet tart tropical fruit blend swirls and expands, creating its own nebula of flavor. This is a very natural pina colada type flavor, I think. It's very tropical. No one flavor overpowers the other. It, it mixes quite smoothly. It's, it's a really good vape. It's probably one of the better pina colada type um, tropical flavors that I've, that I've tried so far. It's definitely got that, that pina colada flavor. Uh, it has a note of something that I can't quite put my, my finger on, but it's, it's not overpowering, it's very subtle, and it's a smooth vape. The next flavor we're going to be trying is Water Knockers. The description of this juice is sweet, juicy, bouncy, round melons. Wait, what were we talking about? That's right, the juice. Now, this is a very, it's another sweet juice. Uh, again, you know, not, not too sweet. It leaves a good flavor. You can taste the melons, but there's something else in there too. I almost want to say it's a bubblegum type flavor that I pick up on. Really good. It's definitely a very good watermelon flavor. You almost get a, like a, a cantaloupe type flavor in there also. Yeah, a hint of it. Yes, yes. This is, this is really good. And this is still the, the standard series. We haven't even made it to the signature series, and these are all very, very good juices so far. The next flavor we're going to be trying is Yellow Snow. The description of this juice is write your name in the snow with this cool, relaxing take on lemonade. No snow was defiled in the making of this juice. There is a side note with this also. It says this juice does not contain menthol. It contains a flavorless cooling agent called Coolada. So this one should be pretty interesting. A nice cool flavor that's not menthol.
This juice is interesting. You know, normally I'm not a citrus type vapor. I don't really enjoy the lemon type flavors, but this one is really good. It, it brings me back to being a child and eating those Italian ices, uh, the, the lemon flavored ices. And there is a, a cooling agent in there, but it's not overpowering. It's not a mint, it's not a menthol. It just gives a really good cool exhale coming out. It's, it's really spot on. It definitely does take you back um, to your childhood. It does seem like a very much of a uh, lemon drop or the Ita lemon Italian ice. Uh, the lemon is a smooth lemon though. It's not a very tart, uh, harsh lemon. So it's, it's easy on the throat. It's easy to vape. I think that's what I didn't like about the citrus flavors is a lot of them, they, they hit you in the back of the throat and they, they just, for me at least, they, they, they burn. And this one doesn't do that. It really, this one's spot on. It's definitely a, a very, very good juice. And uh, this does finish out the standard line, but it is, a, it is a phenomenal line of the standard juices. Oh, I absolutely agree. Alright guys, the first one out of the signature series lines that we're going to be trying is the formula. And the description for this is nourishing, rich, and velvety smooth. This creamy berry custard will tuck you into the bosom and keep you coming back for more. This has got a really good creamy custard to it which is, I feel, to be dominant, but the berry comes out towards the end. It's, it's, it's not like a strawberry. It's more like a, a blueberry or a blackberry, you know, more of a mild type berry, not really so much as a strawberry or a raspberry. This is really good. It's definitely a very custard flavor to it. Um, yeah, I feel it's more of a custard with a berry in addition to the custard, but it's it's a super hard flavor to actually describe. Uh, it is a really, really good juice, and um, it does explain why this is his signature series, starting out with this one. Well, I agree. It's, it's very rich. It's very complex. I mean, I, I love custard flavors, <clears throat> so for me, this would definitely be an all-day vape for me. Without a doubt. I can agree with that. So the next flavor we're going to be trying is Strautasium. The description of this is Strautasium is a brutal new death metal band. Actually, it's smooth custard blend, strawberries and bananas. Blended delicately into a mellow custard vape. Strautasium matches the description very well. You know, on the inhale you can get the strawberries and the bananas. On the exhale you get a really smooth custard flavor. Um, again, just a really good smooth flavor where one flavor doesn't overpower the other. It's it's a perfect blend. Um, I, I have to agree that is a it's it's a really really good blend. It, it almost has like a a uh, strawberry split or banana split, not strawberry split. Uh, banana split flavor to it. You get the strawberry, you get the banana, uh, then a smooth exhale custard, and it's just it's very very flavorful. It's an it's truly an all day vape. Uh, we have tried this in a tank as well, and it is a really really good juice. You know, sitting here thinking about it, I really think it tastes a lot like um, a banana laffy taffy. It really does have that laffy taffy type type texture when you're when you're vaping it that that's the one thing that comes to mind it's really good and the last flavor we're going to be trying is turtle java and the description of this juice is teenage mutant ninja turtle huh oh wrong turtles turtle java is a rich coffee custard with a swirl of vanilla mocha and a sprinkle of coconut we won't lie it'll go straight to your hips I'm excited for this one. With this flavor, when you open the bottle, it almost smells like you walked into um, a coffee shop. Without mentioning any names. It's just got that, that really strong, fresh coffee smell to it. I 
All right, if you're a coffee lover like I am, this is definitely your vape right here. It's the flavor I get from this is almost like a chocolate-covered espresso bean, like when you eat them out of little plastic bags from one of those coffee shops. It's it's absolutely delicious. Um, I'm not a real big coffee person myself. Um, this does remind me of the smell of the coffee beans, uh, fresh out of the bag. It's it's a very fresh-smelling coffee. Um, a fresh brew pot is the closest type of smell. It hasn't been sitting or anything like that. You know, it's, it's very well balanced. You get the custard, you get the vanilla, you get the mocha, you get the coconut. It, it's all there and it's, it's so well balanced. And this is, this is a phenomenal juice. As, as I was saying, not being a huge coffee person, you know, with that being said, it's still, uh, it's not a bad one. Um, it's not a bad vape for somebody who doesn't like coffee. Um, it's it's smooth. It's it's still vapeable as a non-coffee drinker or somebody who doesn't really care for coffee. With a lot of the sweeter vapes that are out there, and this one is is also sweet. Again, it doesn't really. It's not oversweet. You don't get that 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 sweetener type flavor or anything like that. It it really does taste like. It, it tastes like a dessert, like a coffee dessert. The flavors don't burn, even at a super low ohm like this, a 0.2 build. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. All right, everybody, that's all the juices we have to review today. Um, my overall thoughts of this juice line is that it's outstanding. Um, the, ju the, the flavors are dead on. The descriptions are dead on. Um, they're not over sweet. They don't gunk up. Ugh. They don't gunk up your wicks. Um, it, it's just a very pleasurable vape. Yeah, they're great in a dripper, they're great in a tank, they're great in a uh, K-Fun, Fogger, Orchid, really whatever it is you're vaping out of, they're, they're wonderful. Um, I really can't say enough, I'm, I'm thoroughly pleased with this. Um, I don't have any cons, to be quite honest with you. Um, the one thing that I will add though is, if you're vaping yellow snow, you will have to change your wicks. The lemon flavor is, is very overpowering um, in comparison to the rest of the line and it will carry over into your next flavor. So if you're going to vape yellow snow, make sure that you're prepared to change your wicks. With, with that being said, it's, it's not a, a bad overpowering, it's just the, it's a very, the lemon flavor is a very strong flavor and it will bleed into your next flavor that you have. Uh, but again, you know, it's not strong to the point where it's going to burn your throat or anything else. It's a very good natural lemon flavor um, that's not harsh whatsoever. Now let's talk about prices and where to get these juices. The standard series is $15.99 for a 30 mil, and the signature series is $18.99 for a 30 mil. Only 30 mils are available. The bottles we have here are smaller, but they're just for, for testing and for this review. So the, the bottles you get are a 30 mil bottle. Glass bottles of drippers. Uh, the website for Juice Maniac will be linked in the description along with his Facebook group. I highly recommend that you go check out his Facebook group for promotional sales, coupons. Um, I know just recently there was a 40% off your order coupon, so it's worth going on to that Facebook group and checking it out. Throw them a like so you get the, the notifications on your wall too. Thanks for the juices, Steven. Uh, they're phenomenal. Um, thoroughly enjoying them. You've done a wonderful job, and I'm looking forward to more flavors in the near future. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. So with that, vape on and keep wandering.